So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase you guys how you can get this amazing armor set for all you mages out there. It's known as the Sanguine armor set and it's relatively straightforward to grab. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Sanguine armor set, as you can see, looking pretty epic. Let's not lie to ourselves here. That black and gold just looks so cool. It really does. So this armor set minus the gauntlets I have on here um, is relatively straightforward to get for those medium to high level players. You have to kill an invader who invades you within the secret area, which I'll explain to you in a second how you get to it. Uh, but first, let's check out the stats on this thing. For those that are interested, obviously some are. So the hood there, we have it on the screen now. We can see it's obviously a lot magic, fire, holy, and uh, lightning based, considering. But it's still pretty good if I compare it to other armor sets I've got. Uh, let's go with these ones here, the actual major list. And you can see besides the uh, Azur's Glintstone uh, armor set, which is probably the best I've got so far, and I'll have a guide on my channel for this one pretty soon. In fact, it may already be there for you guys if you want to check that out. Uh, the Albert is pretty cool too, but this is a great set also, so it's definitely one for the collection for you guys out there. So let's just run you through the armor quickly. And we can see the Gauntlet's end part of this one. I mean, I don't think Gauntlet's come with it whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, unless I'm misplaced them i'm not sure but i don't think they did uh and there's a waist cloth and there we have it guys so yes to get this thing people you need to have access to uh this part of the map which is all the way up here it's known as the hidden path to halig tree to get access to this guys you need to first obviously gain ha access to the lift of road to gain access to this guys, you firstly have to have access to the Grand Lift of Dectus. So there's a medallion, search YouTube guys, simple two pieces, go find it, not hard whatsoever. It gives you access to the Grand Lift of uh, Dectus. Upon getting to this lift, uh, you have to come all the way around here and enter into the rampart area right here. There'll be a minibus here guys, pretty easy to kill. So take him out and you'll have to fight your way around uh, and you'll end up at Godfrey. If you take out Godfrey, you then have to take out the Omen King. And then, guys, you gain the path up to here. The Forbidden Lands. So you then, guys, can come up to the Lift of Road. And then, guys, you have to uh, come all the way up here. Uh, come to Castle Soul and take out a boss called Commander Niall. Who, for me, was straightforward. Like I said, this is for medium to high level players. Low level players won't be able to do this. No two which ways about it. Unless there's some crazy cheese. Because... Commander Neil or Commander Nile gives you one half of a medallion, the Halid Tree Medallion. Uh, then you have to go, or you can go there here first, it doesn't really matter, to this spot here, the village of the Albinox. Here, guys, you have to go to the top of a hill, there will be a guy hiding in a basket. You punch the basket, don't hit it with a heavy weapon, you could kill him. Uh, once you punch the basket, you can speak to this NPC. He will then give you the other half to this medallion. Once you have the medallion, guys, you can come back up to the here, the Grand Lift of Road, and you have the option now to go to a hidden path to the Halig Tree. Upon here, guys, you want to make your way to this uh, grace here, just because it's easier, and you'll see this all on screen in a quick second. And then, guys, you want to make your way down to this area here. On your way to here, guys, no, sorry, on your way to here, guys, there will be an NPC, you invade ya. If you take him out, as you'll be seeing on screen in a quick second, he drops this sanguine armor set for you. And it really is, guys, as simple as that. So like I said, high, a medium to high level players, this is one you'll easily be able to get. Should be no problem for you whatsoever. So yes, people, add this one to your collection. Bookmark it if you're a bit of a lower level at the minute to do this, and then come back at a later date. But it's one you definitely don't want to miss. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. And if you do enjoy the video, guys, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.